Hey, what up YouTube? I am here for another special episode, partnering with Eagle Lights. They sent me some more swag. They also gave me a nice water bottle to stay hydrated while I work on my bike. But today we are gonna put on, on my Lowrider S, right down here is a radiator guard. They make a radiator guard that goes on, but it also has lights. So that is what we're gonna install today. Let's get to it. Thank you again to Jared at Eagle Lights for sending me this to do an install video and also see how it looks. They also sent me some swag, like I said, sweet water bottle. And uh, this is the actual radiator guard slash light. Um, you can see that everything comes pre-wired. So let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. So everything's ran. Uh, they even have quick connects with the shrink wrap. Um, real simple setup. This uh, piggybacks off of the tail light. So it comes in two pieces. Now, I did think it was metal when I first saw it, but it is actually plastic, which isn't bad because metal would add weight to the bike. So I think plastic is okay. Um, the Harley one is even plastic. So that's the first part. And this is the second part, as you could see. It's all hand wired by them and you got things glued in. The wires ran for you, nicely tucked. And then the other side, so these are the two pieces. And then it comes with this hardware. Uh, and all you need for the tools is a T25 and a simple screwdriver, which I have over here. Simple screwdriver, just these two tools is all you're gonna need to install this thing. So let's get to it. All right, here's everything laid out. Um, there is instructions on their website if you want a step-by-step -step process to read. It's a couple pictures, but this video is to show you how to put it on, how to install it. Um, but this is how it comes out of the box. So I got everything laid out where it needs to be. Um, essentially, first step is you're gonna take these parts and just put them together. Now you need to be really careful right here because the wires are a little bit in the way and you gotta put these pegs together. So I would suggest kind of sliding the wires down there next to the peg. Cause you don't wanna cut them. And maybe use my screwdriver to help get it out of the way. There, snaps down, that's that one. And this side should snap down too. It's probably one of those things where you gotta push it down together. Kind of route that out of the way. Boom, boom. Okay, so those are both in, and then you take these little tiny screws they're gonna go right in here to assemble the piece together and again you don't need to tighten this down too much because it's plastic you don't want to crack anything but you're gonna have four of these to do mm. sounds like another bike is driving These four are down. All right, so that is there. It is solid. This is what the whole piece looks like. I believe it goes on the bike like this. But yeah, we will go to the next part. All right, and next up, you just want to assemble the wires together. These look like they're just kind of like quick connects, so. Just gonna line 
tighten them up as much as I can. that one there's that one now what I'm probably gonna do is tape this down just to make sure the wires stay hidden because you know this is see-through so i'm gonna get some tape and uh, put that down some gorilla tape so it doesn't go anywhere all right y'all next that is going to go on i'm going to tape these down so it looks good but you have the right and left bracket here and this goes oh and i lied you do need a this is a 3 16 because these brackets go right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but right in there. So you're gonna take these off to put the brackets in. And uh, do note there is a right and left one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that part next. Pay attention to this and you're probably gonna need a helper to help you. So I have my son here to help me jamming. Say hi. Hi. He also has a channel called what? James Adventure. Yeah. So you're going to take a 3 16 to get this off. And essentially, this is how it goes. It's going to go behind here. And it's like an L on each side. But make sure the cutout part is facing towards the front tire, like so. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And again, you probably need a helper to help you. I already had it loosened a little bit. I mean, you got the screw over there? Or the bolt, I mean. You got it over there, bud? Here it is, bud. Thank you. All right. I'll loosen my side so you can get yours. Actually, I'll hold the bracket. Okay. All right, you go ahead and just put the bolt in for me. No. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Now you hold the bracket for me so it doesn't fall. So we have to do any angle adjustments. All right, so those are on on both sides. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next step. All right, next you guys wanna take these, I don't even know what you call them, but they're gonna go on the bracket and do the open mouth side towards the front of the bike. And they just clip in like that. They're gonna have a little bit of movement, but basically these go up through the bottom to secure the bottom of the uh, light slash radiator guard to put on here. So now we're gonna go to the next step. All right, next part, you're gonna take this L bracket that has, looks like welded nuts on the end, and it's gonna tuck behind the radiator where these two, hole, two holes are. And again, you're gonna need two people to do this. And you're gonna put it, 
essentially goes like this to hold the plate on. So you're gonna put the screw in the top hole, the top hole there to put it on. So we're gonna get this on next. All right, Ben. Got it? All right, so we got that. And hopefully I could fit a screwdriver in here. All right, that's good, bud. All right, so we got that part in. Make sure it's a little more snug. And guys, make sure your um, finger is on the opposite one. So like my dad was doing the top one first, so you got to hold it at the bottom. Yep, knuckles. Oh. <laughs> All right, so next, what we need to do is, since that bracket is up there, this will go like this for the screw to go in here to hold the top part. I believe I can do this with one hand. Or we actually might use one of the washer ones. That's kind of loosely on there. Ben, can you hand me the little wrench that's up here? Yep. So the top part is on. I'm just gonna loosely put it on because we still gotta do the bottom. And also we don't want the wires pinched. So that's what we're gonna do next. Get the wires run up to the headlight part. So I can show you guys how that goes on. All right, and then you can see from my setup, I have the Memphis Shade fairing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it off just so I can get to all the wires easier. Got that off. Set it off to the side. And this is the Eagle Lights headlight as well. Links are below. We're gonna run this and I'll probably tape most of this down just so it looks cleaner but this will go to the headlight like I said Eagle Light said everything is plug-and-play so that's how that goes it's all on I don't have everything buttoned down yet but we're just gonna go ahead and test the connection motorcycle key so my bike doesn't yell at me all right moment of truth and we have lights so you can see that's how they look kind of shine in the front look super cool all right now that we have the connection tested just need to button the rest down with the ones underneath Hopefully we can uh, do this easily. All right, so this is kind of a complicated part. You gotta do it almost blindly, but I think I got it. So just kind of push it in to the clamp, 
the bottom. Leave the top loose so you have some room. Probably the hardest part of the install. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to get this part on. You can see it's pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of have to kind of have to line it up and then blindly put it in and then button everything down. And that's the install. So if this video has been helpful. Please do what? Like and subscribe. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. The link will be, be below and check out Eagle Lights. And again, thank you Eagle Lights for the partnership. I look forward to a few more installs that they will be sending my way. You guys keep a lookout. Till the next time, peace.